I'm now ready to turn my attention to constructing the drawer. I cut the front out to be so I have uniform grain, cut it out of the front stretcher. And I'm going to construct the box itself out of some white maple. I already have the pieces to the proper width and proper length on the sides. And what I need to do now is trim the front and back of the drawer so that it fits within the inside of the drawer front and also accounts for the thickness of the side pieces. I don't want the side pieces jutting out farther than the drawer front and since it's cut out from the material I have to account for the width of the blade kerf on each side. I'm going to use domino construction on the drawers. Essentially I'm going to put two dominoes across the face of the joint uh, across the face of the box on the sides and then through the ends on the front and back and construct the box that way. I'm going to use SIPO dominoes on the front because I like the way the SIPO offsets the, against the white maple. I think it looks nice. After I get the dominoes cut then I will route a groove along all four sides to receive the shelf and then on the back I'm going to actually cut, once I route the groove across the front, I'll cut that strip off so that I can slide the bottom into the drawer front. And the bottom is made of solid lumber. I milled up some half inch stock white maple as well, which I'm going to use for the bottom. You could use plywood if that's what you have available, but I had some a lot of extra soft maple laying around so I thought having a solid wood bottom would be nice. So I glued up the panel and just need to trim that to size once I get the drawer box assembly complete. So I'll focus on that next. I'm ready to cut the dominoes on my drawer boxes. I did a little test piece here to get the proper fit. I'm using 5mm dominoes. It's offset from each end about 10 millimeters. So the center line is about 20 millimeters. To speed up the um, making the mortises and ensure that I've got accurate placement, I'm going to use the right angle fence that comes as a standard part of the domino and use the little flip stops reference to get the, against the tab. That gives me a 20 millimeter center line on each side, which is perfect. For this so that I'll have uniform, uh, uniform width and spacing on all four pieces. I've gone ahead and marked the face of each piece so that I'll use the same face for the reference side. And I'll go ahead and make the cut. Here's the setup to mortise the sides of the drawer. I've got a backer board positioned underneath so that I don't get any blowout when I mortise through the thickness of the drawer side. I'm also going to use the same fence setup with the little swing arms to position the domino in the right position on the stock. It's just simply a matter of setting it on here at 90 degrees to the face and referencing off of that stop and making the cut. And the fence gives you an adequate place to put downward pressure to keep everything square and perpendicular to the face of the stock. Perfect. Did a nice job, and the backer board prevents any tear out from happening on the off side of the cut. 
So I'll do this for the other three sides and the joiner will be done for the drawer boxes. I'm set up to route the grooves on the inside of the drawers. I'm going to use the uh, OF1010 router for this purpose along with an edge guide. I'm going to cut a quarter inch groove about a um, quarter inch in from the bottom edge. I've used the I marked a center line about 3 8 and I used the center mark on the router base plate to center the bit and tell me exactly where the router is going to cut. And I've put a couple of stops on each end. Since these are the side pieces, I'm not going to blow through all the way. I could, it's not that critical because there is a drawer front that's going to cover any holes, but I'll try to keep just shy of each edge. The drawer box is assembled, I checked for square, and everything looks good. I made a mistake when I cut the slots on the front and back, and I cut the slots too deep with the domino, and so when I inserted the number 5 dominoes, they actually went into the end too far and below the surface of the sides. And obviously that I wanted the dominoes to be flush to the sides, so what I did is I just added a little bit more glue on the end and tapped in some extra dominoes and then I'll cut these off once the glue sets up and dries and sand it flush. But I violated my own cardinal rule and didn't do a dry fit. It's very important to do a dry fit because I would have encountered or discovered that problem before applying glue and account been able to account for it when I positioned the dominoes into the sides. Once everything is assembled and I've got the bottom sized and, and put into the drawer. I'll um, cut a couple of drawer runner guides from some leftover stock that I have. The drawer itself is narrower than the opening of the hall table, and so these guides will help keep the drawer in position so it doesn't move from side to side as you open and close it. But I'll do that after everything is constructed and is sort of a final fitting step. I also will probably drill a couple of slots in the back of the drawer to house a couple of dominoes that I won't glue in, I'll just free press in, and that'll act as a stop for when the drawer pulls out to keep, keep it from coming all the way out. And then if you need to remove it, you can just pull the dominoes out from the bottom. So after I'm done with the drawer, then all that remains is to size the top, profile the edge, do some sanding, and this hall table will be ready for some finish.